Happy Circles, where they began was as a fragrance house. There is so much to say about this and so little time. I'm gonna invite out our guest. Her name is Ginger Mazikian. Yes. Oh good, I got it right. Hi, Hi nice to see holidays. you. Mm -hmm. Loving nice the holiday velvet. Too. Yeah. So, like you know, there are a few fragrances as women and just in the industry that you, you just everyone knows about and, and Shalimar is one of those fragrances. And so when I saw you in the show today, I actually had to do a double take because you've not been at QVC long and I was not aware that we had Guerlain and Shalimar, yeah. which by the way, let me just be clear, it's already customer top rated, this duo, because it's a layering duo. You are getting a... <laughs> It's unbelievable that I'm about to say this. It's incredible. This, this EDP, which is three ounces of Shalimar perfume, their number one bestseller. Um, it started back in, I believe, 1925, and there's a whole emperor fell in love with a princess dedicated to the Taj Mahal, and there's a whole thing why it's named Shalimar. This fragrance is over $130 on its own, but we have paired it for about nine dollars more with the power of layering which is the very same scented shalimar body lotion this is customer top rated again calling out that this is a five easy pay or more beauty event um so what an opportunity can you please tell the story of shalimar because it's i, love I mean it's just this story it's so it really, romantic it is and it's really what this fragrance is about so shalimar actually means eternal love and the story is about the Shah Jahan of India who fell in love with Mumtaz Mahal, his 13th wife, by the way, and he, she was his favorite. So he built these beautiful gardens around the palace, kind of a fortress to protect her and- Called he, the Gardens of Shalimar. Exactly, called the Gardens of Shalimar. So it had beautiful fountains and exotic flowers, and they spent a lot of time there. Upon her death, she died in childbirth, giving birth to his only son, he was heartbroken, of course, and he built the Taj Mahal in her honor. So you have a seven wonder of the world built for Mum Taj Mahal. And when Jacques Guerlain heard the story, the fragrance had yet to be named because at the house of Guerlain, we are inspired to name fragrances from love stories or those special moments in life. And so 400 years prior, this event occurred. And when Jacques Guerlain heard this story, he said, this fragrance must be named Shalimar. We have less than 900 of these duos to go around. Now, Guerlain as a company, as a, as a beauty house, has been around in Paris, France since 1828. But the story of how Shalimar began, taking you back four centuries, yeah. and then, of course, it being one of the truest classics in the fragrance industry, because so many people call it the first really oriental fragrance it in all of history. Is. It is the first. Um, can you explain to people, because, you know, obviously this is a, a captive opportunity. Any, anywhere that Guerlain and Shalimar are sold, they don't do easy pay. This is a luxury yeah. fragrance, so that would almost be like crazy to even assume or think or hope for. However, the notes of Shalimar, when someone's wondering through the TV, gosh, what does this incredible storied fragrance smell like? It starts out with a burst of bergamot, so you get a bit of that freshness, that yes. bergamot from Calabria, Italy, and then it starts to dry into that beautiful rose and jasmine. And you know, what's playful about this fragrance is Jasmine mm -hmm. is considered like the princess, the princess flower, so a little bit more playful, but then you have the rose, which makes it a bit more regal. Yeah. So you have that mix. And then of course the vanilla and the tonka bean that gives it that spicy, that dry down, really envelops you and really mm. takes you to that. You feel that sensuality. It's an incredibly luxurious, decadent fragrance. Just obviously though, it's a spray bottle and the bottle itself is just like a beautiful fountain. regal work of art, it's, right? It's modeled after, the bottle's actually modeled after the fountains from the gardens oh of gosh. Shalimar, yes. And the- 700 left, just, just letting you know, 700 remaining and that's it. Um, and then we also, you- Oh, yes. You paired it with the most beautiful one, two step in layering. Yes. Um, it's the body lotion, Shalimar scented, and, and it is this decadent treatment that it leaves really behind is. that very subtle essence of Shalimar. And what I love about this is you were talking earlier about dry skin yeah. in the winter. This is a beautiful way to wear Shalimar and really moisturize because it does have orchid butter. Oh. And you know, we're also a skincare company I too, know. so I we have to have that. a little I bit of that. that. So we add this and you can wear this 
throughout the day just to kind of you know for a casual day but then you just can spritz your fragrance on at the end of the evening we're all going to Christmas parties right so you can oh just my add that, gosh, spritz, that smells so and good. it just really enriches it and I just love this combo together layering is something that I think um, you know kind of a little bit of a lost art but yeah. um, at the house of Guerlain we love to pair these together because it really envelops you and um, you know kind of gives you that sensuality it that is one of the most famous fragrances um, certainly fit for a royal has this 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 centuries old story of how it came to be and we are now half gone in this really kind of a limited edition gift set that we've put together in the knowledge that we only have 500 remaining let me just remind you this is the only day that you're going to see this on 27 dollars of easy pay even though it by the time we get done doing tax and shipping and handling is actually worth about 200. So that is, as you see it on the screen, the most famous thing that they really, um, at least in fragrance, have done. It is this Shalimar that has been around since 1925. And I love the story yeah. because an emperor falling in love with a princess and then you hear the story about him dedicating the Taj Mahal to her and the gardens of Shalimar and it takes you on a, a journey. journey. Yes, absolutely. Fragrance is you know, it's a very personal thing. When we tell this story or we hear stories from people, women who have worn it, they start to cry yeah. because they, it, it takes them back, whether it be you know their mom or their grandmother. No doubt. And But yet it's still, it's modern, it's timeless, which yes. is what I love about this. It's, it's really survived. And when this was first launched, it was really considered the bad girl's fragrance. Why? Because it was a little, because of the spiciness. It was a little spicy, know? yeah. And they used to say that, uh, the good girls didn't drink, go out all night, and and wear Shalimar. So if oh you wore this gosh. back then, you really were out of the box. You were that um, risk taker. We so started we with love over that. a thousand of these. There are 300 remaining, and because it's a big beauty event, easy pay um, opportunity, five or more, you are getting this home for less than a dollar a day. And I just hope that you come back soon. Oh, uh, it's absolutely. so thrilling so that Guerlain and Shalimar are here. here. Um, thanks, my Thank dear. Thank you. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. All right. So listen, we on Tuesday Night Beauty, we like to go. Behind the scenes with some of our guests, our celebrities.